Welcome to the Fulcrum Kitchen. In this recipe we will show you how to make the classic dish, Scouse. Although this dish is very much associated with Liverpool, its origins actually come from the word lobscouse, a stew commonly eaten by sailors throughout Northern Europe. It's a beautiful dish, so let's get ready to cook. I'm starting by peeling my carrots, however you can leave them unpeeled, but just give them a good wash. The beautiful thing about this dish is, you can use what's lying around. Any kind of root veg works well in this recipe as well, so get a little bit experimental. We're cutting the carrots into some nice bite sized pieces, but you can chop these smaller if you prefer. And then next for the Swede. We call these turnips in Newcastle, however it's basically a Swedish turnip, Swede. So carefully remove the skin with a sharp knife and then we're going to chop these into bite sized chunks similar size to the carrots. This is a really comforting dish and doesn't cost a lot to make. And now it's time to start preparing the onion. Slice through the middle of the root, this will hold everything together. Remove the pointy end from the onion, then remove the skin. We're now going to chop this into rough bite sized pieces. And now let's prepare those potatoes. Start by removing the skin with a potato peeler and we're going to chop these into some rough chunks. Give them a little rinse afterwards just to remove any starch. And now for the meat. I'm using a mixture of lamb and beef but you can use either or. Add the meat into a mixing bowl, followed by the flour, a touch of pepper and a little bit of salt. Give everything a good mix together. And now it's time to cook. Add some oil to a large pan on a medium heat and then add in the mixture of the lamb and the beef. We want to get as much flavour into this meat as possible so allow it to brown off for some time. Once the meat's browned off, remove it from the pan into a clean bowl and set aside. Using the same pan, add a little splash of oil. Tip in the carrot, sweet and onion and give everything a good mix. We want to cook this for around about 5-7 to seven minutes until it starts to soften before adding in some of the potatoes. Allow to cook for a few more minutes before adding the meat back to the pan including any resting juices. Stir everything together. And then add in the bay leaves. If using fresh, pop a little tear in. Add in some dried thyme, a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Add in some of the stock. Give everything a stir and allow it to cook down. Crumble in the beef stock and add the remaining chicken stock. Bring everything to the boil. You can cook this on the stove top on a simmer for two to three hours, but we're gonna pop ours into a slow cooker and let the slow cooker do the work. Have your slow cooker on a high heat. We're gonna cook this on high for around about an hour. Add over the remaining potatoes Turn to low and then cook for 3 to 5 hours. And there you have it, a delicious bowl of scouse served traditionally with pickled red cabbage and some sliced white buttered bread.